In this video, I will show you how to update Xerox VersaLink. Phaser, or Work Center using the Windows Firmware Install Utility. I would only recommend utilizing this method if you are on an old version of a Xerox VersaLink. If you are on a Phaser or Work Center, this will be the best method. If you are on a later version of Xerox VersaLink, refer to my firmware upgrade video where I show you the easier method of updating firmware. Start by opening a web browser on your computer and type in the IP address of the printer. Select the login button and then login as administrator. Go to the system icon and go to software update. Make sure that software updates are enabled. If they aren't, select the enable button. Then, you will need to download the firmware utility. You can find it by googling the VersaLink firmware install utility or located on xerox.com. Once downloaded, extract the files. Then, open the exe file. If you are prompted with a security message, select Run Anyway. Now that the tool is open, select the Printer Model drop-down menu and select your printer. Then, we will need to open the file. Before we select the file, I want to explain a concept real quick. On the VersaLink series, we need to make sure it is on the bridge release or later. If it's not on a later version than the bridge release, you will need to do two upgrades. First an upgrade to the bridge release and then the second update, you can go to the highest release possible. The reason for this is because the bridge release makes the software encrypted, which they did later in the series of updates. An example of this is installing the 58.59.11 bridge release first and then after that upgrade is complete. I will install the latest version. Let's go back to the firmware upgrade utility and choose our file. If you are upgrading to the bridge release first, make sure to choose that file. Once the file is chosen, select Add. The lower portion of the window will be populated with the file name, size, date, and printer model. Click Next. Select port 9100, do the upgrade via the web and then select Next. If you want to do via USB you can, but you will need to have the USB cable connected from the printer to the computer. The network method is the best and most common method done. Once you are on the next screen, type in the IP address of the device and select Next. The firmware update status will then appears on the update in progress screen. The printer control panel also shows the firmware update status. You will see a message an authorized user is making changes to this device. Please wait. Important, do not close the window or interrupt the printer while it upgrades. 